Hey YouTube, what's up? So I keep getting the questions for the voltage drop across the cell and I don't know if I just get too excited or or what whenever I'm testing and I completely I completely forget about testing the voltage drop across the actual fuse because I'm actually testing I'm creating a load and, and testing the voltage drop so we can see how much voltage is actually coming off blah 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 so anyway i don't know if i just get excited or if i just it just completely blows my mind so uh i'm gonna take care of that with the fuses that i ordered those little glass fuses so if anybody else wants to use these fuses it can help them decide which ones they want to get all right so i'll show you what i have here real quick and then we'll get to the testing all right let's do it okay of course from left to right and these are all on the 12 gauge twisted pair not that it'll really matter i don't think with these type of fuses but we have the 2 amp 1.5 amp uh, lamp and 0.5 amp uh, I guess we'll just start with the 2 amp and work our way down okay and I'm gonna use this little cheap one I got um, the reason I'm gonna use this one is because I have the little alligator clips on the end and I can clip them in the exact same spot on each one to try to keep the test as accurate as I can otherwise if I use my other meter I just have the the little leads on the end and I might not get them in the exact same spot so I did check it and they're both pretty much the same but it'll just be easier for the video purposing if I use this I put some uh, black electrical tape underneath so I can try to do a temperature reading all right so I'm gonna attempt this view right here uh, of course you can't see the actual amp meter but I'll, I'll tell you and I'm gonna leave it in the, the exact same spot over there across my little load if you will I might as well just throw the stopwatch in there too all right Contact. Okay, I uh, moved the alligator clip over here to the 2 amp load mark. Contact. At the 30 second mark, I'm going to let it go and I'm going to start probing for a temperature and I have to sweep it because the laser is just a pointer so I have to go kind of back and forth to see if there's any changes. Alright, I didn't really see much of a difference so I'm going to stop it at one minute. Okay, so the next one is the 1.5 amp fuse and of course it's all set up the exact same. Contact. I'll move the test lead real quick. Contact. Oh shit. I was supposed to start checking that at 30. Okay, next test is the 1 amp fuse. Contact. Okay, I move the load lead over and we're on 2 amps now. Contact. Oh, fuck. Did it again. Okay, this last test is the 0.5 amp, and we're on the 1 amp load. Contact. Okay, let me move the load lead. Contact.
Okay, so there you go for all four of those tests. All right, guys, so I hope that was a good enough test for the voltage drop. Um, of course, at the beginning, I forgot to write any numbers down. Shocking, I know. For the, the two amp uh, like long test to figure out where they kind of stopped at, the two amp stopped at around 53.6 millivolts. The 1.5 amp was around 81.6 millivolts. The one amp was around 100. 195 millivolt and the 0.5 amp was around 278 millivolts. Of course I always forget to write down the notes until after the video and then by that time I of course I always I always forget. So yeah I guess if you guys have any problems with that test let me know. Yeah. Okay, so I guess if anybody wants those fuses based on those numbers, like I said, I don't math good. The uh, DIY Tesla Powerwall guy, he seems to do math really well. You could probably send him a message. Yeah, I don't math good, so you'll have to do that on your own. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, so I'll... So, uh, okay, so... Um, and... Uh, uh, ready? But, um, um... I hug it real close or as close as I can so uh, voltage voltage drop and it's 2:39 a.m. so I need to go to bed right hey guys just wanted to say thanks for visiting my channel and if you liked the video that you just saw take a look at my channel for some more videos and projects that I have going on if you guys like the videos that I'm making here maybe you would be interested in helping me purchase a new camera so I can uh, make some better quality videos and if you do want to do that I have two links down below thanks in advance and I appreciate everything that you guys do for helping me out all right we'll see you guys later